Hi guys, I got a helper today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Before we start this video, make sure to give us a like and a huge thumbs up. I'm the new cook here and Mimi's here with me too. We're making some peanut butter cookies and if you don't know how to do make them you can watch this episode and um, you can give us a, a like and um, a big huge fat thumbs up. Okay here put this in the box. First you need to start with what's this called? It is a cup and a fourth of flour. It's a cup and a fourth of flour and you need to put it in this bowl right here and it's pretty easy. Alright now put in this one. What's that? It is baking soda and it is three-fourths of a teaspoon. And here's some baking soda, three fourths a, a teaspoon. A, a teaspoon. Sorry, I just can't say teaspoon, right, guys? Whoever's watching this. Now you're gonna put in a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. This is a fourth of a, te a teaspoon of salt. All that. Alright, now you're going to take a spoon and mix it all up. Here. Um, like, mix all those up. And then you just take a spoon and mix it up. Okay. And when we're done, we're going to, and when we put them on the tray, we're going to um, put finger, thumb pin, prints in there in the middle of it. We don't, we, my Mimi told me to make a decision, but uh, I said thumb prints. Thumb prints, yeah. We could put pecans in it or thumbprints. Yeah, and I chose thumbprints. All right, set that bowl over there. Put the spoon in it. Yep, that's fine. And here's the mixture. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, now I want you to put the peanut butter in that bowl. And we're going to put the peanut butter in this bowl. It which is about three-fourths of a cup. It's about three-fourths... Of a cup of peanut butter. Of a cup of peanut butter. Alright. Don't move this one. Okay, I'll have you with this one. Okay, I hardly can't get any peanut butter off because um, it's like this peanut butter stick to, to it. <laughs> So you hardly can get it off. It's alright. You see, we're, we went to Jesus Girls last night, and um, well, if you say something mean, that's sandpaper words, and if you say something nice, that's marshmallow words, and you should be using your marshmallow words. You be you be, you should be um being nice to your parents and doing what they say, and not being mean and. Do, do, do what you told and just be a good family and love each other. That's well said. Alright, here's your spoon. Hang on to that. So, I'm just sitting here to... Um, okay, here you go. Half a cup of brown oh, sugar. You need a grown-up to help you with this. Okay. So put the spoon in there. Yes. This is a half a cup of brown sugar. This is, do I use the spoon to get it out? Yes, it, This is a half a cup of brown sugar. Put it in the peanut butter? Yes. Okay. So we're just going to take a spoon, put the... Just dump it out. Dump it all in there and scrape it out. There you go. And just so if you want... You're doing a great job. You don't have to, like, use your spoon and take little things. You can dump it out. Right, so dump this one out. This one is. I think it's a half why did cup. you make me put two spoons? It's alright. I put all of it in there at once. That's fine. Half a cup of sugar. That's what that was. Okay. That was a half cup of sugar. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. So I get to mix up two spoons. You get to mix that. Yeah, start that up. And I'm fixing to put some butter in that one. Hang on just a second. I'm not stirring. 
Hurry up and put it. All right, this is a half a cup or one stick, and we're going to try to beat that into the this mixture here. All right, start mixing it. Uh, With what? Let's use this. Ooh, take these. All right, now do not put your fingers down there on the beater end. Okay, I won't. I think right, this is okay. Never do this without a pan, because well, if you put your finger down on that thing and it's stirring, you'll start bleeding really bad, 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 bad. All right, get going. Put it in the bowl. How, what button do you press? Teaspoon That's of vanilla. Say half a teaspoon. That's a, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Ready? Mm, hold on to it for. Don't pick it up now. Keep eating. Stop making them. Okay. Make them about this big. Yep, perfect, perfect, perfect. And I didn't say this, but tell them they need to have their oven set preheated to 375. Um, she didn't say this, but you have to have your oven to heated to 375. 375. Like this, maybe? Looks good to me. Okay. And all you need to do is get split, um, get you a hand thing of this and start making balls. I can do this. Well, I'm gonna help. This makes a lot, you know. You can do that tray, I'll do this tray. Let's see, Mimi's going to put her thumbprint in there. But you can, you guys can put, uh, you can use like a fork. Wait, we're making and both? And crisscross in there. We're making both. Or you can put like pecans in the center, which makes really nice. Mimi. I'm going to get a fork and show them that. Okay, and that's a pretty common way to do it too. But we're gonna make Christmas fun bits. Okay. 
Okay, tell them what else you learned last night at Jesus Girls. About Jesus and God and um, to be nice and say your prayers every night or morning or even when you have time, even at school, even before you go to bed. You can say your prayers anytime you want, even what else? Well, you was learning about being rooted in Jesus and God to, to help you get through hard times. Rooted to Jesus. Okay. And um, being nice and saying paper words and marshmallow words. Do you remember about the wise man and the foolish man? You're not making me fun. Oh, I will. <gasps> I mean, my phone print like that. Okay. I'm gonna make this in a bowl. Well, Mimi's making hers like cookies, smashing them out a little bit. <laughs> We're working on this, guys. Yeah, I just messed and up a little might bit. Might even be nice to put some of that cookie dough in the refrigerator and not bake them all at once. That way, if any company comes over, you guys can pull it out and have cookies at a later time. Mimi, you like turning out good. I think they're beautiful. Hmm, you're being mean. No, I'm not. You, I, think, I think they're perfect. I think you're checking me that they're not good. This one's exactly not that right. I gotta make this one into a vlog again. <laughs> and yeah, cause this one um, spread it out too far and it was falling apart. Never let your cookies fall apart. We don't want that Mimi, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm almost done this. Well, tell them about one inch balls is perfect. One inch balls is perfect. And then they can shape it how they want to. You can shape it how um, you want to after that. Mimi, I was going to do the same thing I see. You. I thought you wanted thumbprints on yours. Not me. No, not thumbprint. <laughs> well, this is how my mama did it, and so I just, I like them that way. Okay, I'm going to put mine in. Okay. Y'all, just to let you know, never be mean. I didn't mean to be mean to me. Okay, this right, is should make, be... Bake those cookies for about 10 minutes. This is how much dough you should have to make a bowl. <laughs> I mean, not that much, this much. It's just this, a little bit. You don't bit. have to get it that close, sister. There you go, that's perfect. I'm just doing this. Okay. You see? Alright. I'm going to show them a, pe a pecan cookie. No, I don't want a pecan cookie. Just on a couple. No, I don't want pecan cookies. Okay. Make the rest of them the way you want. 